What's going on, Yankee fans? This is Alex with NYY News, and I'm gonna, about to go on a rant here for a minute, so bear with me. And I pray to God this doesn't happen. But this is going to be an I told you so video just in case Judge gets screwed out of the MVP award once again. It's happened in the past. It's happened to Yankee players in the past. The people that write these votes and the, these reporters, these writers, whoever has a vote on these awards are extremely biased. They have their own prejudices against Yankee players. And it's not even just Yankee players anymore at this point. If you need anything recent, look at the latest Hall of Fame vote. Kurt Schilling not in the Hall of Fame just because what? Because he's a Republican? I mean, this is why people don't take writers and votes for this stuff seriously anymore. So, again, I really hope this doesn't happen. But just in case it does, you heard it here first. Now, first and foremost, Pete Simonetti just did a video on this. It's clear cut, Judge is the MVP. You can't argue it, but you can see a lot of stupid shit happening. It's just the way of the world. Welcome to 2022 in America. But I'm going to go over a few stats, a few times the Yankees got screwed out of awards. It's worth noting, I can bring this all the way back from the early 2000s of where Yankees should have won certain awards and they didn't. So first and foremost, let's go over the fact that the MVP award can be skewed. It could either be viewed as the best player in the league. That's how you see guys like Mike Trout on last place Angels teams win MVP awards. Or the most valuable player to a team that is actually a solid playoff contending team. I don't really care about the best player on the worst team. It doesn't really matter that much. So regardless, the way these voters operate, this is what they do. And every time it comes to a vote, they find a way to screw the Yankee player over. They're just biased. They're the ones who make the decisions. If it was fair, there would be a lot more Yankee accolades out there. So here's my starting lineup. First and foremost, this first one is not a Yankee, but it's going to be relevant uh, in the future. You're going to see 2001, Ichiro Suzuki was the first player since Fred Lynn, second player ever, to win MVP and Rookie of the Year in the same year. Now, why is that important? The argument was Ichiro was not a real rookie. And I get it. He was playing over in Japan, came over here. Regardless, they gave him the award. Fair enough. The reason why that's important, though, 2003, Hideki Matsui, the new Yankee, is screwed out of the Rookie of the Year award for Angel Barroa. Now, if you look at the stats, Matsui was clear-cut better than Angel Barroa for a World Series pennant-winning team of the New York Yankees instead of Angel Barroa for a dogshit Royals team. No one's ever cared about the Royals. Let's just be real here, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You don't like the way I'm talking. Get the hell over it. Matsui got screwed out of the award. Now, 2004, it's worth noting. First and foremost, I do believe this vote went fair. Uh, Gary Sheffield was second to Vladimir Guerrero. He had a, Sheffield did have a better year throughout. However, Guerrero did power the Angels to through the last week to win the AL West. He deserved it, but it's worth noting they took the vote to not give it to the Yankee star. Now, 2005, there was a few of them. Now, Rookie of the Year, they gave it to Houston Street over Robinson Cano. Street had a very good year, but Cano's was better. If you want to look up stats, feel free to look them up. I ain't got time for all that. I'll give you stats for the more recent ones so you can actually drive this point home. That same year, 2005, Cy Young Award. Bartolo Colon wins the Cy Young over Mariano Rivera. Now, Colon had a very good year, led the league in wins with 21. However, it was not a superb showing that year, and it was not even his best season. Now, Rivera, although was a closer, was by far deserving of the award. Stats are hard to compare, being one of being one's starter and the other is a closer. However, the only way you can really funnel him, Cologne was 23rd in the MVP voting. Rivera was ninth. Also worth pointing out, 
Eric Gagne won the NL Cy Young Award a year prior. So the idea a closer wasn't worthy of an award, of the Cy Young Award is absolute ludicrous. Now, again, uh, same year, most valuable player, Alex Rodriguez. He won the award. He deserved to win the award. However, he was won over David Ortiz. Now, it's not like A-Rod was a slouch on defense. If, it was a, if it's a butchered defensive player, okay, fair. But Ortiz, designated hitter, never plays defense. A-Rod played gold glove caliber defense at third base. It, the vote should not have been as close as it was, is basically what I'm getting out. Now, the following year, 2006, and still to this day widely considered a joke. This is the most obvious of all of them. Justin Morneau gets most valuable player over Derek Jeter. This one's still considered this day, considered widely to this day a joke. Morneau's only value is his offensive output. Yet Derek Jeter won the Hank Aaron Award, which is meant for the most outstanding hitter in the league, while also winning a gold glove for a team with the best record in baseball. Yet somehow, by some fallacy, they gave the award to Justin Morneau. And they even mentioned it on the captain that they wanted to see Jeter bring A-Rod in more as a team player before giving him the most valuable player award. Are you, are you kidding me? Like, what other arguments are you – like, this doesn't make any sense. You're, you're just skewing it away from the Yankee player. They're showing the biases and no one's saying anything about it. And something needs to be done. Now, the following year – this is definitely Nick picking. I'm just going to put that disclaimer out there right now. A-Rod wins MVP over Maglio Ordonez. Now, I get it. Like, I, I understand completely. But A-Rod was not unanimous MVP. I think he lost three votes for first place. And again, I get it. But A-Rod, that year in 2007, had probably the best offensive year in baseball history. He's the only player to this day to have 50 home runs, 150 RBIs, and 150 runs scored in the season. I, I really would like to talk to these those writers who decided he should not have been most valuable player and see where the hell their heads were at. Now, I'll give you some more stats on the more accurate, more up-to-date uh, ones that we're all privy to. 2017, we all know 2017, Jose Altuve won MVP over Aaron Judge. Now, first and foremost, I'm not even going to bring up the fact that of the cheating. We all know that. We get it. We understand that they cheated. Let's just assume for fact of the argument that everything Altuve did was on the up and up. Now, remember the voting criteria for MVP. It is the best player in the league or the one who helped out his team the most. So... In regards to the best player in the league, in 2017, regardless of him being a rookie or not, Aaron Judge, first place in runs scored, first place in home runs, first in walks, and I also put this in there too, he was first in strikeouts, obviously that's not a good metric, but, you know, it's there, it's worth noting. First player, first in war, first in runs created, he was second in on-base percentage behind Mike Trout. Second in slugging percentage behind Mike Trout. Second in on-base percentage plus slugging behind Mike Trout. Third in total bases behind uh, Jose Abreu and Ramirez of Cleveland. And second in RBIs behind Nelson Cruz. All right. Now, Altuve stats. He was first in hits and he won the batting title. That's it. So, statistically, you can't argue it. Statistically, Aaron Judge had a by far better year than Jose Altuve did. Also, I think it's worth noting the fact that on base percentage for the home run hitter over the over Altuve, I mean, it's more of a knock on Altuve. Why is the, the little guy with speed getting a lower on base percentage than the six foot seven home run hitter? Now, in regards for most valuable to their team winning. Aaron Judge was on a Yank on the Yankees are the wild card losing division. I'm sorry, I'm I'm all pissed off now. Judge 
and the Yankees were second in the American League East to the Boston Red Sox. They lost the division by two games. But without Judge, nowhere close to the playoffs. Now, Jose, Jose Altuve's Astros, they were the only team in the AL West to be above 500 that year. They won the division by 21 games. Now, I get it. He was a good player, understandable. But they had that division by a landslide. It was no argument. And it's also worth noting there was a period about six weeks, a little bit more than six weeks, mid-July to September, that Carlos Correa was out with a torn ligament. The Astros were 20 and 24 during that time span. So if anything, maybe Correa should have been MVP because he was the one that was – that once he was out, the team started to suffer. Either metric, best stats – Player, the player that helps their team win, either metric you go with, Judge should have been MVP, and it's undeniable. Yet, Jose Altuve, for some random reason, is the most valuable player. And this was the first time in history that the voters used the premise that Altuve was the most consistent hitter all year. When the hell have we just used consistency as a metric to give the most valuable player award to somebody? The only way you're doing that is if you're trying to not give it to the Yankee player. The only consistency here is bias towards Yankee players. I've seen it too many damn times, and I'm really hoping I don't see it again. Now, the 2018 Rookie of the Year Award. Otani is the Rookie of the Year over Miguel Andahar. Now, for what it's worth, Otani only played 124 games total due to injury. He had 10 starts. The rest were playing on the field or just DH and hitting. He had a good year, not great. He had a one of those torn UCL tears, kind of like what Matsuhiro Tanaka got. He was able to pitch through it. However, Andahar played 149 games at third base for the Yankees. Not great defense, but I digress. Had 83 runs scored, 170 hits, broke the rookie record for doubles with 47 held by Joe DiMaggio. Had 27 home runs, 92 RBIs, and batted 297. The reality is Otani had the rookie of the year one the second he signed in the United States. It, it wasn't a fair vote. Pretty sure everybody had something to say about it at the time. I even believe uh, Didi Gregorius had a meme about it the second the vote came out, screwing over Andahar. Now, 2019, it's worth noting LeMahieu was not an MVP finalist. If you want to see a rant on that, go see Pete Simonetti's video on that. Go back a couple years, you can see it. Judge is the clear-cut deserving player for Most Valuable Player Award. Yet it won't surprise me if he gets screwed yet again. Remember, these are the same people that are screwed over Kurt Schilling because he's a Republican. Over and out. I pray I'm not right.